Oh yeah, Celestina. what is what is this Celestila? Obviously, it's supposed to take something and then kill something else. That's what the spread is about. <laughs> Welcome to me. How's it going, friends? It's the Violet Citizen here, and today uh, we have week three of meme, and this week we're going up against the man, the meme, the legend. Erasmus Gaming, who also hello. happens to be... Oh, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. Um, I don't even know how to start this off. I guess, um, yeah, this was this was a game that I played with my good friend Pippo. Um, I, I think I can say this with confidence that we weird each other out when we play, because exactly. we both know how each other plays relatively well. And so that kind of makes it more interesting than just playing other people. Yeah. And also there's there's no such rush to actually like play stolly or try to win too hard. I think on both sides we just kind of threw some random uh, memes together and, and went for it. Um, yeah? No? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I was kind of... I, I always prep like the other person is gonna try hard, but yeah, obviously that you know the memes are just the counter to try hardness in a way, maybe. Yeah, sort of, kind of. I feel like I play more meme than my sets are. <laughs> yeah, I'm the opposite. Like when I play, I kind of go try hard because I don't know. I feel like there's something to prove, although there's there's not really. It's Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, like I feel like. I just make fundamentally bad plays <laughs> sometimes that's, that's good. without even meaning to. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this makes sense in my head, but then it doesn't actually work out in play. Like logically, it just it just doesn't work. It's, it's like this this triple bluff. Like one layer of bluffing is alright. Two layers of bluffing is just a regular play. Three layers is is the means that <laughs> you go. <for. laughs> Bro, how many layers of irony are yeah. you on right now? <laughs> All right. Um, so um, Ethan has a team with things and stuff that they are kind of. He has the offensive part going on and the defensive part going on and the trap thing with the trio that I don't really appreciate. But eh, what, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so going into this game, I'm like, I'm playing Ethan. I have to bring cast foam in in some <laughs> <laughs> in some kind of attempt to to be the the, the superior meme, although to be the superior. <laughs> <meme>. <laughs> uh, although Raikou would be much better for this matchup, but you know, cast foam is is a thing. Um, pretty standard rain core going on uh, with um, Splash Kingdra uh, there to do the memes. Um, then we have Torkoal with uh, Solar Meme uh, just to lead with it and probably take out the Toad, maybe, if it's not a Salt Fest. Um, then we have Celestila with a weird ass spread that I don't really quite remember what it is for, but it's supposed to take a special hit. I think it's supposed to not die to some Latios thing, maybe. It's, then... it's probably um, EV to live um, like Specs or Life Orb Thunderbolt from Nihiligo. That could be a good shot, but I didn't think Nihilago was coming anyway, so... Oh, really? I don't know, yeah, like, because I have the sun core, and it kind of shuts it down completely. Yeah, fair. Unless... Yeah, even with HP fighting, which was a really nice... We'll, we'll discuss later, because, uh, spoilers, <laughs> HP fighting is a thing that happens in the game. Um, Tidar didn't quite take all that much, and uh, that's pretty much it, really. <laughs> Uh, then we have um, Excadrill there to do, I think it's just there to spin, and no, it doesn't even spin, Torkoal spins. Um, no, this, it, is, this is like fully spooky offensive. Yeah, it's offensive for some reason, I don't know why, maybe Mold Breaker for the Laddie? I don't know, yeah. some, some, something. And then Cast Foam with a Life Orb and all the beautiful rain moves <laughs> and the scald burn chance and the tailwind if I want to set up my own cast from sweep um, so let's see how, how this does looking at what you brought it's kind of what I expected again like the, the only thing that I didn't really expect was like I thought Togekiss would be 
something that you bring. But other than that, the other five look like what I would expect. It was, um, I was really, I thought guaranteed the team was going to be um, Raincore plus Suncore. Mm-hmm. Not Suncore, it would be Raincore plus Sandcore with, um, like, Grand Bowl and Celesteela and... That was kind of what I was prepping for. Um, I didn't really think you were going to bring the Sun or Ice Cores because they sim- they just weren't as strong as the other two. Yeah, absolutely. Um, like, I, I was definitely nervous about the Victory Bell coming because I have, like, <laughs> a lot of my team doesn't really appreciate taking hits from a Victory Bell. Like, my Switch Ins would be, um, I think, my Galadios? Question mark? <laughs> yeah, it and then takes a something yeah um so i was definitely nervous about that but i thought that the sane and it's the the sand and rain cores gave you a lot more counterplay like pursuit mega titar um easy damage and just mercs my team with crunch and then earthquake um and then excadrill is always a threat like my best switch in gets three hit ko'd even when fully defensive mm-hmm. um that being seismitoad um and then rain it's it rain is rain like you you get ice coverage plus rain boosted water moves and that covers the vast majority of the game (laughs) so that's why that's what i was primarily prepping for um that's kind of what i primarily built um i thought the ice core would be nice but then i was like "Eh, eh." the ice core like i had i i felt like i definitely had more switch ins too yeah, definitely. Like the toad kind of shuts down pretty much every goal, but but the sun, the sun, right? Yeah, because I don't know rain. If you have the water absorb, then I would kind of be forced to spam dragon moves with Kingdra, and it doesn't really get any. It only gets outrage. Yeah, um, but I mean, like it's still outrage. <laughs> it's still outrage, and. I don't know, the, the, the idea of Togek is kind of made me just go for s- just rain. You have so much priority, like Sneasel kind of takes care of uh, the Victory Bell offensively, so yeah. I don't know, I went with what I went, because, yeah, you know, half good building, half bad building, and there's just just a sprinkling of, of memes. Um, yeah. Are we going fast? Are we going normal with the, with the thing? Um... We can just go normal. Okay. I feel like we're going to be pausing a lot to talk about right. different interactions. Good, good, good. Right. One, two, three, play. Play. Okay. Right. Um, so, I lead with Torko because I knew that Seismitoad was probably your best lead. Maybe Doug Trio, but, you know, Seismitoad was probably the best lead you had mm-hmm. against what I brought. And I was just going to click Solomon from even before the game started right yeah um and then so it turns out i am actually assault vest seismitoad um and um we looked at each other's spreads after after the game went on and um i was gonna take a max 80 percent from the um the solar beam so i was was still gonna lose a hell of a lot of hp but uh i got crit so that's I was like, oh no, then there goes my rain check. <laughs> and I think that um, Lava Plume wasn't going to be enough even after the, the damage, so it's kind of a big crit early on. He, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, I mean, that's like, it, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, I could. Like, basically, this entire team is built around the idea of. If I moment, if I get rocks up, and then I memento something and get Lucario in, I basically win the game. So the entire team's based on this idea of getting enough chip so that everything is in range of either extreme speed or if I outspeed it, I can close combat it. Makes sense. And, and then I have bullet punch because fairy types. Mm, all right. Um, turn two. I think I switch out because I don't want any rock gem going on, power gem, whatever. Yeah. And doing the damage. I go into Celesteela. You HP and I think that's probably fighting, but I'm not going to assume anything yet. 
in this part of the game. I'm yeah. happy that it's not HP fire because it could be a real issue. But again, HP fighting is probably the better option. So yeah, um, I think here I'm going to scout for a thunderbolt by going into Excadrill with a balloon as you set up your rocks and then you do the damage. <laughs> I, don't yeah. know, I don't know if you're following the, the whole thing, I'm just commentating what I see. Um, yeah. I paused it here and uh, that was not nice because I think I went for the uh, magnetize on this turn expecting yeah. the duck trio to come in and um, do the do and trap me and just take me out. So that knee Lego did a lot of work early on. It did more than I expected it to. Like yeah. the reason I set up rocks on the turn the um, Celesteela came in was because I, I was like, I outspeed every single variant of this um, as long as it doesn't get an autonomize up. Okay. So I valued getting the rocks up more than killing the Celesteela. I was really close to click clicking the Thunderbolt button. Um, but I just, I was trying to stick to the game plan. Yeah. Um, and then when you brought in the X control, it was, um, it was either he's going to kill me, which means I can then, um, like I would speed. Yeah. You do the damage and then revenge. So I would speed this because like you didn't, you had the air balloon. So I'm like, okay. So I know for a fact I would speed this. So I get free damage. Um, so if he spins, he loses the mole and then I can set up rocks again on whatever comes in or um he kills me and then i get to trap it after breaking the balloon so it was like a win-win situation for me yeah, makes sense it was a good play um then i think i went into pelipper and tried to do the rain things right maybe yeah as yeah. that was clearly a, a, a sack job as a certain youtuber might say um and then i go into kingdra um the way you played your knee Lego so far kind of suggests that you would stay in, so I decided to click Waterfall and just not play around with a plus two um, threat in front of my face. Yeah, like I couldn't really switch into anything else. Um, Sneasel wasn't going to take a Waterfall on the rain, and Lucario was my win condition, and you have to be a, a special kind of man to switch in a Latios <laughs> <laughs> on a rain Kingdra. True. Um, <laughs> So I, I was like, all right, this, this Nihiligo did more than its job. So I'm just going to go ahead and sack it. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. and then stuff happens. That's not good for me. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, the, the trio comes in. I'm like, just, I, I know this is Ash, like deep in my heart, but maybe it's not. So I'm going to click the move. I don't really have many options. The rain is gone. If I decide to switch out and then switch back in, there's, there's not much point. Go for the waterfall. It is Ash, but I get the flinch. And here I'm like, fuck, uh, this is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> yeah, so like this next, the next few turns are kind of a clusterfuck. Yeah, because so like, it, it forces, it doesn't quite force them. Like I could still kind of try hard and go for the, for the victory and whatever. But I'm like, okay, now it, you, I'm pretty sure that you had memento the way you, you spoke about it, like in the chat. So yeah. I thought you were going to click Memento here, so this spl splash would be a good option because I would still be at plus one, I could still get chip damage on, on things and stuff, and I could possibly set up a cast form sweep late game, maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I decided to just click uh, this splash as you suck a punch with with a duck trio, which was unfortunate. I thought, I thought you were gonna, I thought you were just gonna kill me. So yeah. I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'll get chip damage on this, and hopefully, by some miracle, um, I could pull out a W. Ah um, oh, well, and with then, yeah, stuff. Yeah. Um, and basically, I don't know why waterfalls like it shouldn't. It's a dick move, but I did it anyway. Because I suppose I wanted the castle on sweep laid on. I don't know. That's <laughs> kind of what I worked towards. So, yeah, Sneasel comes in. Um, it's pretty obvious that you were going to go with priority because priority, I think, still had a chance if you went into Lucario and clicked E speed. 
probably it was a, it had a role to to take me out after the Hold thing. on. Uh, probably not. Hold on, let me look. Let me look. Um, like I have no bulk whatsoever. I yeah. think I have like eight. Spdef you have eight or something. HP. Yeah, eight HP. E speed nice. does a max of forty seven. So if like if I got the um the sucker punch damage yeah. plus the um other damage, then maybe. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so um Hold on. I'm gonna look. Yeah. Well, how much in. does sucker sucker do? Sucker does like twenty four. Yeah, so I needed yeah. to get the sucker and the shard and the e-speed. Which was a likely scenario if it didn't mean all that hard. If it, yeah. <laughs> if, if, if we, if I, like, I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know, like, if you were just gonna, like, let me memento or you were just, I was, we were just gonna play for real. Yeah, I don't no, know. It, it wasn't. It, it was just click this button. It seems nice. Like, Z-Splash is always nice to, to click, although I just clicked it once in my life. Um, but yeah, Latios comes in, and here I have Outrage, I could straight out, I think, even Lucario drops to a plus 3 Outrage, not sure, but it should, even if it doesn't, plus, the plus life, or, yeah, um, but I'm like, what's, what's, the, what's the fun in that, like, I need Castle to do something, so I'm going to click Waterfall, turns out it's a bulky Latios, and it takes 67, it's, it's good damage, to be honest, but it's not quite as much as I would like it to be. I think it's like the Mega Lot. That was actually a minus defense Mega Latios. <laughs> still, still. <laughs> I thought I would do like clean 80 and then I would just go in with Cast Form and do the things. Mega Latios is like, he's he's way fatter than people think he is. No, he's I'm, busted. I'm fully aware of how fat this, this thing is. Like, especially the Mega, the, the sister Latias, but. These two, it's just it's just a blob, really. Yeah, a zoom blob. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to go into cast form. Uh, I'm going to chew the dragon claw like it's nothing, because I'm a cast form. And then I'm going to click <laughs> her again. Um, not quite uh, KO. I, da, I, I, it could be a roll. Like, if you leave at 1 HP, there's a good percentage. Yes, that's, yeah, that's it's a, a very close roll. Whatever, whatever. Like, uh, we get the confusion, and then we get the confusion hacks. Uh, on the <laughs> next turn, as we stop being a special raindrop thing, and uh, now we're just a normal drop of something, of synth synthetic things. Now, here, I don't know what I did, really. I should have clicked Tailwind. I guess, and then try to get the scald or something. I felt yeah. like not sacking cast foam straight away, because maybe you do something weird, um, like magnet rise or whatever. I don't know. So I went into the the thing that has the smoke and the fire and everything. So SD and close combat is kind of going to. Do the do, take out the rest of my team. Yeah. And uh, that's, that was a good game. Like, it wasn't good by by definition. It didn't have the components of what would make a competitive and clean Pokemon game. But I enjoyed it. It was nice. It was fun. Yeah. It was, it was just fun. it was just a mess. I wish it wasn't so messy. Yeah. Cast one got a kill, which is what really matters. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's uh, the game. I think I'm now one into minus three, I would assume. Maybe. Yeah, because I won one. Yeah, um, I'm also going to record week two just straight after this. I don't know which one will go first. <laughs> um, <laughs> but in case this goes first, then uh, spoilers, I won week two. So. <laughs> Yeah, any any closing remarks? Um No, I mean it was You definitely had more win conditions than I did, which is generally a sign that you should have won. Um, um 
you had things for my win conditions that dropped to unfortunate events though yeah so, i guess yeah. i mean if i if i didn't lose the seismitoad so early i feel like this game would have gone completely differently yeah definitely. um yeah and the, and the doctrine of flinch was i think that was the, the big thing that's what kind of made me not want to go out of my way to win the game just try hard to make the, the predictions and the plays and the i'm like whatever that's, yeah, that's bullshit. I mean, like I, I would hate it if it happened to me so let's just work for yeah. cast form <laughs> <laughs> no i was like i when we were playing i was like oh no <laughs> I actually guessed out loud. Yeah. And this, this was like 20 minutes before I had to go to work too. <laughs> ah, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> it was. Get the right really mentality for work. <laughs> My life fucks you over like in every aspect of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can oh, we talk yeah. about how monochromatic my team is? Um, it's so blue. It's really blue. That we did up day. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't really have a theme with uh, with colors. I suppose the, the colors by themselves look, by themselves look kind of similar, but not really, not really. Like yeah. I celebrate diversity in Pokemon colors with my team, so that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty good. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, thanks, Ethan, for uh, doing this lovely video. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it turns out well. I hope that it didn't stop recording because my um, computer's memory is just disgustingly short. It's shorter than mine. So, yeah. Um, uh, next up, we play against uh, Donut, I think. Like, I could check, but the whole thing would go um, uh, blue pot, some things. You, uh, um, you play. What week is it? Should, should be Donut, week right? One? Yeah, you play Donut. Yeah, that's Donut. Right, so Donut, I'm coming for you. I am going to bring uh, at least one of my uh, weathers, so be prepared. Uh, at least one of my weathers <laughs> when you bring all four. <laughs> um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Later. Good. <laughs> <laughs>